we're looking at calculating the area of a complex shape. And like I told you, when you get to grade 9 or even grade 8, you'll hear the word composite shape or composite figure. And that's just any shape that's made up of two or more geometric shapes. So the first example is pretty easy. We're going to calculate the area of the shape here. And what's it made up of? What are the shapes that it is made up of? A rectangle, mm -hmm. so a have, triangle. Good, we have a rectangle. I'm just going to color code these. Then we have a triangle here. And where's the parallelogram? There. Good, this one's the parallelogram. And then the last shape is what? A trapezoid. Good, so we have a trapezoid, the green one. Okay, so what we're going to do is... They've already, this one's kind of easy because they've, di they've divided the shape into simpler shapes for us because we're, we need to use a formula to find area. And if I just said find the area of the shape without breaking it into simple shapes, it would be hard to do. Um, so we're going to find the area of each of the simpler shapes and then we're going to add them together to find the total area. Okay, so let's start with rectangle. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Do length times width. Good, so area equals length times width. And we need to figure out, okay, which is the length from a rectangle and which one's the width? The length is 4 meters. Okay, usually we say length is the longer side. It doesn't really matter because multiplication 3 times 5 is 15, which is the same as 5 times 3. So the order doesn't really matter when we're multiplying, but we'll say the length is 7 and the width is 4. Okay, so... 7 times 4 is 28, and the unit is meters, and it's area, so it's a square unit. Good. So for triangle, what's the formula for area of a triangle? Base times height divided by 2. Good. So I'm going to write base times height divided by 2. Now, let's look at the triangle. Which part of this triangle is the base? So, so here's our triangle. Which one's the base? 5 meters. Good. Okay, so we know the base is 5 meters, and what's the height of the triangle? Now, I don't know if you can see here, but there is a little line here, okay? And there's, where is that line also indicated? On what? By the 4 meters. By the 4 meters, so what does that mean then? The both, both of the measurements are the same. Yeah, like both of these the measurements. measurements are the same. So because of that indication, we know that this has to be 4 meters. And how do you know that this is the height of the triangle? Because it's perpendicular to the base. Good, excellent. It's perpendicular to the base, and it forms a 90-degree angle. So we know that has to be the height. So 5 times 4, and then we're going to divide that by 2 for the triangle. 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 divided by 2 equals... 10, and it's meters squared. Good. Okay, next we have a parallelogram. So it's the pink one. How do you find the area of a parallelogram? Base times height. Good. So area equals base times height. And <clears throat> let's look at our parallelogram here. So this is a parallelogram. What's the base of the parallelogram? That. So we know the base. Again, we have these two little lines here, which are also here. We know that that it means it's the same measurement. So the base is 5 meters. How did you know what the height of a parallelogram is? Where well, would you find the height? On the trapezoid, the height is 3 meters. Good. And since these two lines are like the same, they're, just, they're parallel and the same distance yeah. apart, so it, the height would be 3 meters. Good, because I can draw, we know that the height of a parallelogram, they're trying to throw us off here kind of, this is not the height of the parallelogram because it's on an angle. The height, just like a triangle, has to be perpendicular to the base and form a 90 degree angle. Well, if I draw this line here, which is the height, and I already have this line, well, we know that these two lines are parallel, right? So they have to, and they're the same distance apart. So we know that the height is 3 meters. Okay, so base times height, 5 times 3. 15. Good. Meters. So. Squared. Good, excellent. So the area of the parallelogram is 15 meters squared. The formula for the area of a trapezoid, we did it last week. It is A plus B multiplied by the height and then all of that divided by 2. Does that look familiar now? Okay, and what is A and B in a trapezoid? How would I label A and B? Do you remember? 
which part of the trapezoid is A and which part's B. The two parallel sides are A and B. Does it matter which one I call A and which one I call B? So let's call this one A at the bottom. So three meters and what's B? How um, long is B? Seven meters. Seven meters, good. So let's fill that in. We can copy it. So we have three plus seven, and it doesn't matter which one's A and B, because again, with adding, the order doesn't matter. And the height, just like a triangle and just like a parallelogram, has to be perpendicular to the base. And we already talked about that earlier. So the height is what? Height is 3 meters. And we're going to take all of that and divide it by 2. So you're following follow bed mass. 3 plus 7 is 10 multiplied by 3. All of that divided by 2. I'm running out of space here. I'll put it here. And I'll just continue this over here. 10 times 3, good. 30 divided by 2. What did you get for your final answer? 15 meters squared. Perfect. 15 meters squared. So what we've done is, here is we've, we know that this complex shape or this composite figure is made up of 1, 2, 3, 4 different simpler shapes. So to find the total area of this complex polygon, what do we have to do to get the total area? You have to add all the different, all the areas of the different shapes. Good. So we're going to add the total areas of each shape, and we're going to find the total area of this polygon. Okay, so I'll get you to add those together. So we're doing 28 plus 10 plus 15 plus 15. Good. 8 plus 5 plus 5 is 18. Carry the 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Good, 68. So the total area is 68 meters squared. Perfect. Made with DoodleCast Pro.